let's leave the giant step. Let's head back to where we came from. These little wiggly legs. Look at them. Boop, 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 boop. Love them. These little wiggly legs. Can I win this fight? Oh, I actually have to fight them. Well, that's okay. Smash them all into a thousand tiny pieces. So, oh, someone's on the phone. Wait. Hello. Hello. What? Hello. It's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it'd be a good idea if you took a break? No, Dad. God, get off my back, Netflix. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Click. Beep. But I don't have a cell phone. Otherwise, I would just be using it to call my dad. Yeah! Welcome to the map. Contra Domini. Domini? I don't know how Latin your name is, but welcome to the squad. Um, yeah, I have a mysterious cell phone built into my head. Passive-aggressive dad. Well, at least he pays me. He pays me for killing monsters, so... I'm pretty about it. Now, the game is committing what I would generally consider to be a cardinal sin of game design, in that it's making me go backwards through a dungeon I've already completed, However, because of the other mechanisms in the game, uh, the fact that the enemies are scared of me, it's, uh, it's, it's really helped. It's actually, like, not so bad. Right? Like, this is kind of okay. Because now I can choose, if I want to, to engage the monsters, but really, uh, I can just walk back to where I came from and not be afraid of having to run into... See? I'm gonna run into stuff if I don't feel like it. Isn't that cool? So cool. Soups. Welcome to the squad. Thank you for your subscription. Thanks for tuning in for a little of that Earthbound action here on Retro Sunday. My actual thing, my psychic power, would be called Psy Subscribers. Psy Subscribers Alpha. Psy Sub Notification. Psy Amazon Prime. Your bat is glistening with slime. Hey you, that board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? Yo, my bat says fuck the police. Can you not read it? No, I cannot read. What a rebellious kid. Come to the police station later. No. I refuse. I guess I could. I guess I, I could go. I can go to the police station. I can see what that Jerk, pushing me around. Now we've been, we've been to the police. Yeah, almost got hit by that food truck. Uh, we've been to the police station, right? Where the fuck is it? One of these unlisted buildings. Uh, oh, like up here. I just want this music on while I'm walking around all the time. Is this the... Nope. This is the secret whispering building.
hospital. Where are the police is at? Bakery? Police, there it is. So, here you is. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, blah, blah, friggin' blah, blah. It's usually, usually those tax evaders who blah, blaggity, blah, blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know? Blah, blah, cop shit, blah. Usually the yokel whiners. The yokel? Nah. Usually the local whiners make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites and blah, friggin' blah, blah, blah. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, you sure you want to go to Tucson? Yes. <laughs> okay. Follow me. We're gonna get bamboozled by these police. Oh shit. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Yeah! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots! Aw, oh, yeah, now we do have to fight the cops. The cop attacked. You see, I hit this cop with a baseball bat, I guess? Oh, girl! Local town police force brutally beaten by kid. You're tough, you should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. I kind of like that I'm just beating the shit out of these cops. I fought the sheriff. Oh my god, a whole room full of beat cops. Cinderfell, get out. Get out of here. You're terrible. Can you just say bring it on, fat boy? Ooh, ooh! I am gonna mess you up, officer douchebag. Get wrecked! The cop turned back to normal. Let's do this again sometime. Next time I'll take you up my nuclear suplex attack. Okay. Come on, I'm gonna take you apart right here, right now, baby. That's what you get for calling me fat boy. And also being a instrument of our shitty political system. Yeah. Wrecking these cops. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm gonna call for my boss. <laughs> There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Does somebody... Somebody smell... Somebody smell bacon? Oh, it's just you. Captain Strong lost his temper. Shield myself, and I'm gonna kick the crap out of this guy. Whoa! 40 damage! There's some good cop beating tunes. Hit him with your bat, Ness! Hit him! Hit him good! Oh no! Shit! I got beat up by that stupid cop! Fuck! And I gotta go kill all those cops again. Shit. Stay in the stupid hotel first. Aw, oh, I only have $19. Man. Frickin' cops. Dad! Dad, the cops beat on me, Dad. God damn. Ness. Ness, I'm a friend you've never met before. My name is Princess Zelda, Paul, Paula. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I'm Paula. Chevy, I'm Paula.
Dad. Dad, I've been beaten badly by the police. I'm going back to get my revenge. Tell Mother I said... Hello. Let's call Mom. Let's call Mom before we go fight the cops. Mama. You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh, yes. Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Oh, too real. It's like talking to my actual mom. Well, here's Tracy. Hello. This is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro. She works for the Oyabun. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for the Escargo Express. What can I do for you? Nothing. Nothing, woman. I'm out. Let's go mess up those caps. Let's fight the cops. Let's fight. Let's fight the cops. Let's go fight the police now. Let's fight the cops. Let's fight them with our bat. Um, I'm gonna buy. I see if they have any better weapons in the drugstore. Do you got anything better than the bat I'm using? You do not. You are good to go. Okay, fine. fine. Sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm leaving. No, Escargo, so Escargo Express is the delivery system in the game. So if you have items you want to drop off in your bank, which I never really used, but I guess you could, uh, you can do that. Um, it's a joke because a snail is slow and they're quite fast. All right, wish me luck everybody. It's cop bashing time. I could, yeah, I could buy some hamburgers, but. God, he's gonna blab at me again. Oh god. Blah blah blah. I'm a policeman. Yeah, just watch that S car go. Yeah, and also like cargo. Yeah, that's cargo. It's, it's pretty good. Multi layered shitty joke. Here we go. Yeah! So, these guys mostly just bash at me. Suck it, officer. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bring it. Sick of you cops always dragging children into back rooms and beating them. Jesus. Grim. Fucking grim. Okay, well, I have two hit points, so there's a pretty good chance this next cop is just gonna off me when he hits me. Unless I can beat him on initiative. Oh no, but it's the shit! Uh, I think I'm gonna I'm about to get martial arted again. Unless he gets angry and loses his temper, in which case I'll be fine. Oh, shit. God! Fuck! This game is hard! Woo! Yes, of course. Of course I'll give it another shot. Of course. Eventually, I'm gonna be able to take out these jerks. So, same, same jam. Here it comes again. Uh, I'm gonna withdraw some money. At least Dad's rewarding me for beating on those cops. Rest in the thing, and then we'll go and. <laughs> All right, down we go. And 
and save with my dad. And then I gotta go fight all the police. Just keep fighting the police. Here we go. So I guess, it, you know, the not the last one, but the second to last one, I'll make sure I'm ending the fight with lots of health so that the boss cop doesn't ice me. Times like this, kids should be playing Nintendo game or getting beaten to death in the back room of the police station, which seems pretty fucking grim, I gotta say. This is a dark narrative. Show me your moves. It's kind of a, an interestingly structured boss encounter, right? In that it, it doesn't give me an opportunity to heal except during the fight. Uh, and it's kind of all one all one fight, but it's structured as separate fights. But if you don't get to heal in between, I mean, it might as well be a single fight. Yeah, no, the Eagle and Police Force are a bunch of terrible people. At least this branch of them. I think they're beating on me because they're mad because I did their job. Honestly, I think that's I think that's the jam, right? I think that they're like wailing on me because because he just said like don't let the mayor's don't let the mayor's uh, compliments go to your head, right? So I think I think that's the thing. I think they're they're pounding on me because they're like, ah, oh, this is that kid that did our job and made us look stupid. Okay, so I'm gonna heal now. So here it comes life up. Oh, perfect, and then he missed. So I'm coming in pretty good on health. And then we gotta fight the boss guy. There is no way I can beat you, so get ready for a bunch of bullshit. He hits so hard. What? No! Oh my god! Oh boy! So that's our first example. I have enough health that this happens now. So your health doesn't just go away, it ticks down. And the more health you have, the longer it takes to tick down. So there's a chance for shit like that to happen. Where I got to the one count and I managed to heal myself. So... Now I guess I can try to fight him? He is a nightmare. Ah, I have my shield now, motherfucker. I just need like one big... Yes! So you notice he didn't return to normal? He was defeated? I think this is what he was like before. Ah, I didn't think you'd do so well against the mighty once police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on a second, I'll radio my staff and give him the word. Beep beep. Click. Err. Click. Strong here, you read me? Kerr. Hey. It's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. A kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. Why don't you open the road for road to Tucson for him? I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. What? <laughs> okay, good. So he's just an asshole. Fucking <laughs> dirtbag cop. Fuck that guy. Alright, um, off to Tucson. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. You're doing well. Keep it up. 
The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson. It's really useful. Okay, great. Thanks. Weirdly helpful after those cops were beating on me. Yeah, run away. Run away, vermin. Whoa, that's a good background. Let's visit this little house. What the fuck? I live rent free in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. Please. Take my son along. He may look like a regular small mouse, but he can lead you to an exit if you're lost in a maze. Will you take one of my sons along? He's a tough boy. You can treat him as one of your items. Same. <laughs> All right. Yes. I crash you. He's a tough boy. You can treat him like one of your items. <laughs> I love I love playing this game with chat because when something like that comes up, when like Earthbound does its Earthbound thing, and everyone's just like, what? Ramblin' Evil Mushroom? Yeah. Trashed. <laughs> Floor burger! I found this burger in the woods. I think it's a Robert Frost poem. <laughs> Stupid rambling evil mushroom. Well, at least I stopped moving after I beat it a bunch of times with my baseball bat. Oh, I don't have enough PP. I've been mushroomed. Alright, Ness, you're gonna need to eat a hamburger. Okay, so I have this mushroom attached to me. What's that about? Oh god. A mushroom on my head. Mushroomized? How am I? What is that? I'm mastermized. Eh, yeah, well, I'd get off my head. Hello, mole. I'm not an enemy, I'm just a friendly mole. I'll tell you how to distinguish between your friends and your enemies. It's an easy to tell an enemy just by looking at them. Enemies that look like humans with weird colored faces. Beware of them. However, you can't get more powerful if you just avoid your enemies. That is some good fucking life advice. Yeah, the mushroom doesn't turn with you. It just stays perfectly still. Do, 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 do. Tucson Town. Do not ever speak to me or my Tucson again. Oh god, my control scheme's all fucked up now. Ugh. Oh god. Okay, so, uh, I believe it's been turned... Nope, that's backwards. Okay. Up. Yeah, okay, I gotta turn. I'm turning my controller this way now to be able to walk around properly. Jesus. Oh, God. Shit. Welcome. Would you like me to tell you about Tucson? It's too much trouble for me, too. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, God, I pressed A, but it was B. No, f shit. Tucson has a modern, clean hotel. There's a hospital and the wonderful Chaos Theater. 
There's the Pole Star Preschool and a nice bus station. If you're curious, you might want to check out Berglund Park. It's exciting. You'll get all your shit stolen. East of town, you find the Peaceful Rest Valley. On the other side of the valley is Happy Happy Village. There's also a pizza parlor. You want to know anything else? Well, I don't know anything else. Okay, I'm going to go to this hotel and try to get this mushroom off my dome. Okay, fuck. It swaps every time I fucking change screens. Okay. Sideways. Okay. Uh, oh no. Okay, now this is up, so now it's upside down. Um, do I have... Christ, this is difficult. Welcome to Hotel Tucson. A one night sale costs you 50 bucks. I don't have 50 bucks! Shit. No. Um, Dad? Oh god, now it's gonna change again. I need money! Oh, fuck off. This is very difficult. Select a transaction. Uh, withdrawal. Your account shows $1,247. No. Oh, but the menu is still the same. Okay, great. Uh, I need 50 bucks. Side. Back, backwards? This way. No. Yeah, upside down. Okay. Hi. Yes, please. For the love of Christ. Get this dumb mushroom off my head. There we go. Okay, we did it. Oh no, it's still there! No! Oh no! Mushroom! Uh, how do I... Okay. I'm reading the newspaper before you go. Here's this morning's Tucson Tribune. Maybe I have a psychic power. Let's let's try my f fuck. No shit. No, use your shit. Fuck me. All right. God damn it! No visible effect. Help me, Black Dynamite. God damn it! All right, it's uh, this way. Now. Down is this way, so it's sideways. Okay, here we here we go. How the hell do I get rid of this stupid mushroom? Hospital, maybe? Okay, let's go to the hospital. Maybe they can help me. Stupid ass mushroom. Fuck. Alright. Hospital. It's down this way. Okay, alright. Let's go. We're going to the hospital. Oh! Oh god, it changed again. Help! I has mushroom on my head. Please, to help. No, I don't explain the hospital system. I just need you to help me. Oh God. Nope, so this is just for people who are dead. Okay, is there someone in the hospital? Is there someone in the hospital who can help me? Please. Oh God, cure me. Oh, you want the mushroom growing out of my head. Yeah, let's make a deal. $50 for the mushroom. Do I need any help? Not anymore, man. Thanks. Woo! Okay, that worked out great. Perfect. I did it. We did it, everybody. We're free. We're free of the mushroom, and we made 50 bucks. Now, where were we? We were in the middle of, like, a adventure or some shit? Mr. T? I saw some weird guy talking to Paula. That guy gave me the creeps. <laughs> I see you're young, but have had some adventures. I think Paula would be a good friend for you. Yeah, I think so too. I could use some friends. Ooh, a bike, like in Pokemon. This is the cycle shop, Puncture. Bicycles are so much fun. They're so convenient. Yeah, it's a lot faster than walking. You'll be really popular with the biking crowd. Hey, psychotic walnut. Do you want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any bikes. Do you want to rent one? I like your straightforward style. I'll tell you what, I'll let you borrow a bike for free. Ness got the bicycle. You know that two people can't ride on one bicycle. So, of course, three or four on a bike would be impossible. You also know you can't ride a bike with anything following you. Teddy bears, for example. Carrying a bear and riding is impossible. Don't even think about riding a bike into a cave. 
Okay. I got a bike. <sighs> Shit. Everybody get ready. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. All right, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say, fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memory. Bye. Where'd my bike at? Use. Ness rode a bicycle. Oh god, don't ride in the middle of the street. So you can't tell, but what the bike is doing is it's auto-running for me. It's also playing this cool music. I <laughs> riding around with my tongue sticking out. I guess my mouth is open. Bicycles are the best. Check out this cool music. Yeah. Riding my bike. Boop doop ba doop ba. Trying to catch bugs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy I have this bicycle. I can get around on it and I'm stuck. Yeah, suck it, Professor Oak. You ain't got shit. Alright, let's get off the bicycle. Hello? Is there anybody home? Dad and Mom have left for Happy Happy Village. That's what I tell my kids, too. Listen, your mother and I, we're going to Happy Happy Village. Don't, don't come in our room. They want to meet with the founder of the religion there. That part's actually pretty fucking great. The happy, happy villagers. Satire. It's a thing in this game. I heard Paula was kidnapped, but it's still unconfirmed. Did you know that two young inventors live in this town? I want to invent something, too. Well, I'm gonna take your mom to Happy Happy Village. It's fine. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have a great time. Let's get back on our bicycle! Yeah, great bike ride. Good work, everybody. Do you want to buy a ticket for the Runaway 5 show? Fuck yes. The main floor and balcony seats are sold out. We only have box seats, which cost $20. Oh, the box seats sold out. Oops, my mistake. Would you like to return something? Here, I would like to return this bicycle. No. This department store isn't crowded. I like that. I always feel much better after hearing my mom's voice on the phone. I was really homesick recently. My mom cheered me right up. You should call your mom sometime. Believe me, those melancholy feelings will be gone before you know it. I'm gonna withdraw all my money and I'm gonna buy a bunch of shit at the store. Let's go buy some stuff at the store. I heard a meteorite crashed on a hilltop near Wunt. That must have been exciting. Yum. Yum, I'm eating a skip sandwich. It makes you want to start skipping. I saw it on a TV ad and I just had to try one. I bet I can really move after eating this. It's speed sandwich. I think my grandchild is older than you. He's a famous inventor. He lives here. People call him Orange Kid. He seems to be popular with the girls because he's groovy. G cool, Granny. I want to visit my boyfriend in three, so the bus won't go there. I wonder why. The teddy bear they sell over there, I hear it helps in battle. I don't know what they're talking about. Looks like a plain old teddy bear to me. So the teddy bear, if you take, I think if you take a hit, it takes it for you. 
Happy Happy Village is getting to be more and more blue. Do you understand? Hi. Can I help you? What are you gonna buy? I don't want a teddy bear right now. <laughs> you just here to say bye? I say hi? What a loser! Yes, you can get me a uh, slingshot. Yeah, I'm gonna equip it. I have a slingshot now. Uh, I guess I could buy a fry pan in preparation for the character I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy it so that later when I get Paula, I can give her that. Yeah, let's sell some crap. Uh, here, would you like to buy this? Bicycle? Oh, God damn it. Would you like to... Wait, no. Yeah, the slingshot does have bad accuracy. It's true. Um, that's okay. Um, okay, I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to... I don't want to pick up the... You know what? We'll just leave it for right now because... Uh, I don't want to carry around two items that are just for a person. I don't know when I'm gonna get them, so Let's go and redeposit some of our shit Man, this kid is getting fucking baller rich Chaos Theater. I love this place. What's happening in the theater? I guess I lost my ticket. Now I can't get in. Oh. You want to see Poochie Fudd, the manager? Right through this door, please. I, I mean, I don't. But... The Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here till they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years. Unless you decide to pay off their debt. <laughs> Yeah, I could use Escargo Express to store the ribbon, but um, maybe the next time I'm near a phone. Hey guys, yeah, we may be popular, but that girl who lives at the house of the preschool is talk of the town. I want to see her someday. We, that's right, we are the Runaway Five. We're popular, but not rich. We're being cheated by this theater, and we're really deep in debt. Yeah, the adults in this game are the worst. Okay, hint guy, I don't need you. I've got the internet. If you're looking for Venus's house, it's next door. My daughter left for the big city to become a superstar. She's using a stage name, Vain... Vain something. She's working hard. Venus? Ugh, nothing to steal. What kind of chump house is this? So, we gotta find, obviously, ooh, this do dogs are smart, dogs know things. Huh, there was a kidnapping! Believe me, even though I'm just a dog! Arf. Brooklyn Park seems kinda dangerous, but there's some great stuff there. The boss of Brooklyn Park is Everdread. He's got ties to burglaries and kidnappings in the area, he's a scary guy. I like to sell my goodies on the street. Sure, flies land on them, but in my opinion, it makes them taste even better. I do not want any of your disgusting food. It makes me feel good just to sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is the tool shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. I own an antique shop. No one's buying or selling anything. So I was thinking of selling the for sale sign. It's only $98. I only have $95. I should probably buy it. It's one of these little, like, trading ga- Is that Everdread? <laughs> Why don't we chat later, after we've locked horns? Oh, okay. Everdread? Oh no, my cold remedy! Everdread!
Excuse me, man. Oh no! Sure, good thing I wasn't carrying all that much money around with me. <laughs> 